boy Trainami with the review, and this is gonna be a review of my Stephen Savage 110 Apex Hunter XP. But this is a follow up to the review that I did unboxings. Now, this is gonna be a review of me switching the chassis on it. Yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing right now. So, what I've seen online, there's two screws behind this trigger. On the front of this trigger, and this bolt right here that takes out the, um, the barrel and everything. And just leaves the chassis, so I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Take out the magazine, nothing in the magazine. Everything's clear. Okay, out with the old and with the new. Taking out these two screws. I need a I need a rifle arm stand. Um, hold the trigger. Pull this back. And unscrewing this the long screw right back here. chassis and with this one you don't have to take out the um the recoil lug because it's attached to the bottom of the Stephen Savage 110 so you don't have to worry about taking that out all right here is the Oryx chassis for the Savage 110 has one plate in the back for um, length of pull hmm. one piece of aluminum with um, polymer grips up front and in the back polymer plates that you can change out for color whatever you want to do with that alright let's get to throwing this in the chassis Taking out this um this bolt in the works chassis. Alright, one goes with this. Savage into this Oryx chest. Sorry. 
here we go. So now, <laughs> tell me how that look right there. Boy, that thing looks nice, don't it? Uh -huh. It's a little skinny, the barrel. How um, wide the front of this um, chassis is, but this is made to be able to accept bigger, um, wider barrels, so I'm not going to change it, but I thought about getting an orca rail on the bottom, I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm going to put some more attachments on there, and we will be back. We back and this is here this is how the rifle looks now. Oh, knocking down the rounds now. Let me having it all set up. This is how it's looking. Let's see if I can time this a little bit. Oh, there we go. So this is it right here. Let me put these legs up. So that's the look of the, the sniper now, you can say. All right. A couple, two more things I want to do to this really is get the vertical grip from MBT. You know, this grip is nice, the palm swell is nice. Um, got my barricade stop up underneath here, I like that. Um, I do have a light on here. I had an extra one laying around, so I'll put a light on there. I like my lights on my guns. Just, it's just a new thing. All right, rounds all over the place now. But um, overall, this is a really, really good um build. And you can build the, you can just keep building off of this, off of this platform. Do different things, change it up, make it look good, make it look better. Um, let me turn it off. But overall, yeah, this is the. Even Savage 110 in a orange chassis. It's a really good looking package. Very good looking package. And I will be having a range review coming up with this one. I shot it in the stock um, configuration and it was very accurate too. I'm shooting about one inch groups. But I was shooting from 100 yards. That was pretty much nothing compared to what this gun can actually do. Um, let me get out to the 200 yard range, see how that goes. Um, I gotta get certified to shoot at the 600 yard range, which I haven't done yet, so that's something I need to do. Yeah, um, overall this build was about with me getting the clamp on brake, or the clamp on muzzle brake and the vertical stock. It'll probably come out to be about 1400 with everything. I know you can get cheaper rifles to throw in these um, Oryx stocks, so you can also do that. Um, everything I'm including is the bipod, the, the magazine, the 10 round magazine from MBT. This is the polymer and metal, so the metal is, won't get beat up. It's the all polymer one that'll get beat up, but I like this one because it has a window. It looks better, and it has the polymer and metal. So, and it holds 10. Yeah, this magazine holds 10. Um, the chassis, um, most things aren't gonna give you a scope with it, but Savage gives you the scope with it. So, just the whole upper system, the chassis, bipod, magazines which are about seventy dollars fifty fifty to seventy dollars for these magazines ten round yeah five round magazines um and then with the clamp on muzzle brake I'm gonna get and the vertical grip it's gonna be about fourteen fifteen hundred dollar build this um this rifle cost but anyways till next time it's your boy Trainami peace